Watching the arc with her, she was just utterly focused. Coming into the straight, see him still sitting so still and still waiting, it was a great feeling. With Alpinista, this is the pinnacle of 40 years worth of breeding. It's breeding for all those six generations and then producing this wonderful filly. To win six Group 1 races in a row is just quite an extraordinary achievement. Kirsten came to Ireland almost 50 years ago when she was a young woman. Kirsten and I both independently made our way to Early Stud. Early then was the acme of stud farming in Europe in terms of its stallions, its business practices. It was a magnet for owners and breeders, but it was also a place that was famous for its staff. I think it was about 1970 when she arrived on a lorry from Sweden. She was a rather good looking young girl. So she learned a lot in Ireland and she started to buy her first mares. Her grandfather gave her £8,000 to buy a mare at the sales. I think she exceeded the budget a little bit. She thinks she ended up spending 12 on it. That was the foundation for all these ALs, all these grey mares beginning with an AL. She bought her in partnership with Sonia Rogers. She needed a partner to be able, able to afford to buy her. When she first came to Newmarket, she created quite a buzz, you know, how tall and Swedish, and I think as she said in one interview, exotic by Newmarket standards, which is a lovely way of phrasing it. A very positive person, you know, very focused, but very, very polite. I mean, how lucky were we that in 1981, I think it was, Kirsten bought Lamwedge Stud from Colonel Fries. How lucky were we that she decided to set up camp here and, uh, and not somewhere else. So the first contact with, with her was buying last second. Well, last second was bred here with Kirsten and was born here and was sold from here. My career was transformed by being lucky enough to buy last second. Bought her for Prince Faisal and she became champion at the three-year-old filly. And because of her, I got sent the others and then within two horses along came Alvarado. To win back-to-back -back champion stakes on her and we all enjoyed that immensely. There's a lot more to Miss Rousing in every way than people, people realise. A lot of the people she worked with there remain some of her best friends even today. And she learned the first important rules of running a successful operation in the thoroughbred world and that was number one land, number two people. You know, if I had to describe one of Kirsten's greatest assets, loyalty would be one of them. And she's intensely loyal to her staff, who've been with her for in excess of 25, 30 years. A lot of people earn a living because of her. They love her. She's passionate about it. She knows what it's like to be leading out and in, in snow and frost and all that sort of thing. Her passion and her love for racing knows no bounds, you know, she just... Racing means an awful lot to her. In no way would she sort of insist her horses have to run at the big meetings. I think she's, like a lot of owner breeders, gets huge satisfaction of, of just having homebred winners, no matter where the venue or the time of day. I mean, the, the, the nine o'clock at Chelmsford can provide joy and happiness and a huge amount of satisfaction. I mean, she has knowledge of extraordinary things. She's done a tremendous lot for British breeding to stand those stallions every year, saying stallions what we need, and she's supported them through thick and thin, you know. You know, great contribution, not only to the British industry, but worldwide. To breed Alpinista was just, I think, that just put the icing on the cake. What a day, a day you just won't forget. There's a lot more to Miss Rousing in every way than people realise. There's the philanthropy which comes from the Alborada Trust, which does untold good works amongst every sort of operation, racing part of it, veterinary, but humanitarian as well. You need somebody to have the grand concept, even over generations, of how to bring this about. And this, of course, is Kirsten. She has made this happen generation after generation, culminating in Alpinista. So there are so many things you can say about her, but at the end of the day, uh, she's just like no one else. <laughs>